the right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine, untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Hmm. You know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Took more than that just to script the trip. Let's get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Hey. Hey, back. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Enough. That's not an amount. Enough to know the rules. I don't think you do. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? 
How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? You... <laughs> this is not about the money. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. You just don't give up, do you? You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Soon, soon it will be you and me. Out of the frying pan. Kids, good to go. Just remember the rules, please. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack her plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested. Maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. 
Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. What other dives have they done? When I got the booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur, but I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Hey there, how's it hanging? You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. I'm serious. You can't fuck around with this stuff, Conrad. Do it for real or don't do it. Yeah, totally. I got you. Serious. Rich kids can just up and take a vacation whenever they goddamn please, I guess. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Howdy, Captain. How's the sea? Big and blue. And how's the sky? Brighter than you. Boom! Game, set, match. Uh-huh. Hello again, little blip. What you doing all the way out here? What's that about? Fishing boat, from the looks of it. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Here, you see this? 
Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. dangerous uh ladies first can i just take a second to say holy shit alex we did it i mean can you believe it it's a dream come true <laughs> let's not waste any time not exploring go 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 julia leave it you'd have to take your gear off to get in there not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. <sighs> Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Good God. something. Wow. What the hell happened here? Little look at things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Holding something. I'm just gonna go for it. stupid down here that's it one chance you get that chill out i'm fine see no problemo this says it was a rescue plane launched from a u.s base they were on their way to help out a ship Shark, not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. I, uh, what are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's, it's not the best time. Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? <sighs> it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Jeez, Alex. You're more of a wreck than that plane that just literally fell apart on top of us. Give me a break, okay? Come on. We've really got to get up top. Liz, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. 
Okay, now. Go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? So, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us and he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Alex, you're like an open book with a 50-point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. Oh, bullshit. You're like Monsignor Mopington over here. Julia, are you happy? Well, yeah, of course. Why would you ask me that? I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future. You know? What's next? I think we've got a long and happy future together. I do. Really. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. I love you, Alex. You know where everybody is? I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, Beers, where are they? 
Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey, 